Hello and welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series. And in today's episode, we are going to discuss few enhancement on the visualization which has been done in February 2024. So let's have a look at this blog. Additional enhancement for column, bar, and ribbons. If you scroll down, there are feature overviews which has been given. So in stack chart, we have got hide inner borders so hide inner borders means when you have the tagged bar and you enable the border you can hide this particular border so that enhancement is given in february 2024 if you further go down there has been enhancement given in cluster column bar chart which include space between the series so you can play around with that and reduce the space then further you go down you have been given overlap feature now you can overlap the bars while overlapping you can flip them means right now if you see the first bar is overlapping on the second one but if you flip the last bar will overlap on the second one and so on you can take advantage of sort by value to further enhance the readability same way ribbon chart enhancement has been done and few minor enhancement has been done on zoom sliders line visual for improvements in line chart and stack and marker improvements in line chart and and scatter chart so let's jump onto the power bi and look at those enhancements here i am using my generic power bi model as this is a visualization video i will just skip the introduction to the data model part so let me create a stacked bar visual first of all i'll click on tagged column chart in the build a visual region and i'll bring in brand on x axis category on legend and net measure on the y axis now i'll go ahead to the format pane which is already open in my case but if it is not open you can see icon to open it directly from here and you can click on more options after clicking on the brush button it should open the format pane when you move down to the columns under the column we have to go to border and enable the borders once you enable the border you will be able to see the border let me increase the width so you can clearly identify the border now as you can see the middle border is taking the unnecessary space what i'm going to do here is hide inner border and now you can see there is a border outside but inside there is no border inside the layout you do see space between category option here and you can play around with that as you can see the space has been reduced to zero and they are touching each other and you can make it maximum and you can make it maximum 75 percent where they will look like a thin bar similarly you can give space between series also which is a feature already provided in the past the moment you do that you will start seeing the border again even though you have opted for hide inner borders which is not applicable in this case now now let me add another page For that I have duplicated the page and let me call it CB for column bar. Now what I am going to do, I am going to click on this visual, I am going to create a cluster column chart. It has carried forward few of the properties from the other visual. So let me go ahead and make the space between the bars as 20%. Now you can see the space between the bar. I can further reduce it to zero they will touch each other now we would like to experiment with the overlap feature so I can enable the overlap now let me start increasing the space between the series and as you will see the overlap is increasing I can flip the order as of now you can see the last bar is the dominating overlap followed by the second bar and the first bar let me flip it now in this case the first bar is dominating the first bar is overlapping the second and so on 
Now to make it more interesting, let me also do sort by value. In this case, now the first bar is the biggest bar, and now I can switch off the flip overlap. They look much better. Now to make it further better, let me increase the color transparency. and add the border now let me do one more step let me fully overlap these and now you can see the bars are overlapped with each other completely remember these are not stacked bar these are completely overlapped clustered column bars now can we do the same thing with the majors so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another page and in this page, I will bring in cluster column bar chart again with the brand on the x axis and gross and net on the y axis. I'll go to the column again and make the color a little bit transparent, enable the border. I'll not use sort by value because, anyway, Gross is always more than net, so that's not needed. But let me start the overlap and let me increase the space between the series. Now you can see the net is inside the gross. Let me enable the data label. And as you can see, the data label on the top looks much better here. And go ahead and allow overflow text and enable the background. So in this manner, we are able to utilize the overlap bar feature and able to create overlapping bars. We can use slight overlapping, we can use complete overlapping depending on the need, but this provides us an ability to have really good looking visuals with lot of options. So why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this particular video. Thank you.